Workers of construction debris are at the heart of a growing controversy at a Claremont County business tonight. The Goshen Township owner claims it's a legal recycling center, but some residents say it's an illegal dump. Nine News reporter Tom McKee is live with word that the courts may have to decide who's right. Tom? Well, Carol, that is just right. It's said that one man's trash is another man's treasure, and that's exactly what's playing out down Route 28 behind me here. This is known as the Gateway to Goshen Township, and this dispute is playing out in full view of the entire community. If you drive along Route 28 through Goshen Township, you can't help but notice Combs Trucking and Land Improvements. Construction and demolition debris is clearly visible from the highway. Blanchester resident Terry Langford travels that road every 24 hours. I have to pass it twice a day, going to work and coming from home from work. It's awful. I hate to see it. Langford is so upset, she filed a complaint with the Claremont County Health Department. It's an illegal dump. And they're not regulated or restricted by the state of Ohio or Claremont County Health Department. Owner Donnie Combs did not want to talk on camera, but he told me the facility is a recycling center. His sign says, you pay, you dump, and makes it clear that he accepts construction and demo materials only. Look around the property, and that's what you see. Piles of wood that will be ground up. Mountains of shingles that will be repurposed as well. There are acres and acres of debris. He's been told time and time again to clean it up, and he has not, and he's still taking... Dumping. Combs insists because he's a recycling facility, he does not have to have a permit, he does not have to have a fence, and is not posing any health problems to surrounding homes or businesses. This business is my livelihood, he told me. I work sun up to sun down to make a living. Langford doesn't mince words, though, about what she'd like to see. Cleaned up and shut down. I'd like to see him shut down and to clean the whole entire area. Now, Combs has spent 30 days in jail before in a dispute over property's condition here. There's another hearing, Carolyn and Clyde, and that's going to be July 27th. That's in Claremont County Courts in Batavia, and that's a contempt hearing. All right, Tom McKee reporting live for us tonight.